Well, we're always trying to bring some new sounds into the band. Um, and it just happens that Honer makes a lot of them, you know, like this, that, those, that. Um, the clavinet is a very, very unusual thing for, for Honer because it's a full-sized keyboard instrument. But um, that was introduced in the, in the early 70s and um, very quickly became synonymous with funk music. That Stevie Wonder uh, made it very popular. Actually, the Beatles used it, of course, before Stevie Wonder. They did everything first. But um, uh, they don't make it anymore, but it's still, it's still a, a sound that, that lives on everywhere. So, you know, you, can, you just can make a simple sound on that, but something about it really connects with an audience live. There's, there's always that moment when there's the, the harp solo, then uh, no matter how good or, how, you know, you could just really play the basic notes on it and it seems to work. I mean, it's to, to use your... Um, I had never played a violin before when I started using this, so I had to learn the, the, the fingering on this and uh, now I'm trying to play the violin, which uh, is much easier because of my experience with, with this instrument. thing I, I like about this instrument is you can really put your finger down anywhere and it sounds good. You have to have a pickup in, if, to play live. All these instruments, um, acoustic instruments like that, but uh, to put a microphone on, on an acoustic instrument is um, very risky in a live situation. A lot of feedback, it's hard to, you know, if, if, the, if the player moves around a lot, it's just not gonna, gonna be heard. Sure, you can put it through fuzz tones and choruses and delays and make it sound like a, like a whale. I think you see it more and more and um, I, I, no instrument changed more in my opinion than the accordion um, because it wasn't the coolest instrument uh, growing up. I wanted to play rock and roll and organ uh, and piano and it was like I, I, the accordion seemed like a different style of music. Um, and now it's one of my favorite instruments and I think the reason we picked it up, um, we always liked those sounds for our music from synthesizer or electronics and uh, then we were traveling on the, uh, on the tour bus through the States uh, in New Orleans and hearing uh, Zydeco music. So, well, let me get it. We were on the tour bus and I was getting these sounds from, from keyboards and then I thought, well, maybe I'll just try the real thing. And I discovered that it's actually very hip and very cool and it just speaks uh, like any of these things. It has a quality that you can't really get. And I guess the other part about it uh, is like breathing, you kind of, very natural, you know, it's like a breath and then you add the music and the different sounds. And uh, like Eric with the mandolin, I try to make it um, a rock and roll instrument. I'm, I'm not the virtuoso accordion guys that you see, especially through Europe, uh, who are really amazing players. I, I think of it more as a, an electric rock sound and we put in microphones and pickups and wireless systems and then we kind of combine it on a tour bus and driving through the south of the states looking out on the bayou in New Orleans and we kind of came up with two, three, four, four. The rest is history. <laughs> so you have bass and chords there, and then the right hand would be the uh, keyboard. Sometimes it's it's buttons, um, and then there's different sounds. So these are the different switches. And this is 
a chorus sound, a full sound, and more of a bass. And they, Honer makes bigger and bigger instruments that will have more sounds and more, um, you know, styles of the reeds. And like any of these, there's reeds with air going across it. But instead of blowing, it's just this bellows making the the uh, wind to make the sound. And it's a beautiful instrument. Again, t this with a electric guitar or synthesizer is a really great sound. And then live, we use all these instruments so people are kind of fascinated when we bring these out and <laughs> not expected for maybe some of the rock and roll bands. Although now a lot more people are, are doing it. Uh, when we first started with the Hooters, I think we were one of the first to use these sounds. But now you see it because they, they're great, great sounds. They sound great. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, the block flout especially is a good, a good instrument to play a simple melody on, you know, like Um, you can play it on the guitar, you can play it on the accordion, but on this, it gives it a point. You know, it really um, sits above everything else. With the recorder, we, if we use it in Johnny B, it's sad, it's minor, and it has that quality, but then we do a whole thing in our show with, we call Jigs and Reels, which is more Irish Celtic themes, and uh, it's real up and everyone's dancing, so, you know, that's what's great about these instruments. They can be sad or happy, um, depending on, on the, the arrangements and the feeling of the music. Well, we've heard about uh, Music Mesa for years, especially after working with Honer, touring Germany for many years, um, and visiting their factory, and everyone says Music Mesa, you know, to, to try and participate, and it, it never was the right scheduling or, or time, so Finally this year, we have a new live album coming out. It was time to do some promotion. And uh, I asked our manager, uh, originally we were coming later in April uh, or May into the spring, and I said, well, find out when Music Mesa is, because maybe this is the, the time. And sure enough, it was early April, so they changed our plans to get us over here. And uh, just as musicians to attend uh, was really incredible. I mean, it's, you can't even describe it. I knew it was big, but it was 10 times bigger than, than I would think. I mean, you could spend weeks uh, there to not, and not see everything. So, uh, but we did three shows at the Honer booth, which was all accordions and acoustic instruments, acoustic guitars on that floor. Then there's everything, <laughs> any kind of uh, instrument, any kind of studio effect, hardware, sound, lights. You know, we live in our little world and we have all these instruments and we think, well, it's really just, we're the only ones maybe doing this. And then to see a whole floor of more accordions than you could ever <laughs> imagine, or more mandolins, and of course guitars and drums. The drum floor was massive, and kids, uh, hundreds of kids all playing at the same time was the craziest thing I've ever heard. And you realize just the powerful force around the world, because uh, this is an international fair, so Turkey, Japan, Russia, India, Australia, you know, all the companies come in and, you know, they say it's the universal language and, and then you really uh, believe that, you know, because everyone is here to play music of every style, so there are great performers there on all different booths, uh, someone playing the cello and the flute and amazing accordion players, of course, so um, I think it was <coughs> inspiring to just see the, the force that music is and how all these sounds now are combining, especially with the internet and the technology, so it's, it's just one big ball of sound. And I think any musician who gets the opportunity should come to Music Mesa and spend a lot of time, get a lot of sleep <laughs> before you go, because it's, it is overwhelming. We thank Ona for inviting us, finally, because it was really great to work with them in particular because they have distributors from all around the world that finally come together and they meet and